So how many commandments are there? So the, the, there are, in the Old Testament, 613, okay? And the, and the scribes and Pharisees, they, it was one of those things they would like to sit around and debate. This is part of their kind of how they pass the time. How do we rank all of these commandments? What's the most important? And uh, what's the least important? And so Jesus is invited into this kind of conversation. So that's the, the, the setting there. And there's a lot of commandments, like in the book of Leviticus, those of you that have tried to read the book of Leviticus, there's a lot of commandments, uh, very specific ritual commandments about the sacrifices and how they can be offered and when and for what and all of those kind of things. And Jesus is asked this question, which is the first or which is the greatest of the commandments? And it's worth really studying for all of us. It's worth us to know this answer. Hear, O Israel, the Lord, our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And the second is you shall love your neighbor as yourself. I hear a lot of confessions. It's one of the great gifts of the priesthood, really. The confessional is a, it's an outpouring of God's mercy. It's a place of healing. It's a tremendous gift, I think, both to the priest and to the penitent. And I hear a lot of confessions. And some confessions are better than others, you know, and I don't want to judge anybody like objectively, that was no good, go away, you know. <laughs> but there are times when I think to myself, it hasn't been a good examination of conscience. There is not, there's not a great engagement with the spiritual battle happening. And that is one of the things that I'm supposed to help people into, even in the confessional, to draw them into the spiritual life and recognize more deeply where they're at. And sometimes people say, well, it's been, you know, seven years since I've been to confession and I missed mass once and that's it. You know, and I'm like, that's it. No other sins. And we all recognize, I hope and pray daily mass, Sunday mass, we all recognize it's not just what we do, it's what we don't do. And sometimes I will draw people or invite people to consider this commandment. Do you love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength all the time? Have you ever failed in your love of God? And I can only speak for myself, but I can tell you I have, and I do, and I'm not sure that I fulfill this commandment perfectly. And so if I have nothing else to confess, I can confess that I haven't completely given myself over to God in love with all my mind. Like I'm not distracted by worldly things and worldly interests and gossip and just, you know, selfishness. No, sometimes I am. So this commandment, I think it's the first and the greatest commandment and I think it'll be the last commandment that we actually get right. Like we're all still striving to love God with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. Y'all following me? We want to but we're weak. We want to, but we're divided. And so we strive to live this commandment fully and absolutely. And, and you know, how is it that we love God? We love God by remembering that God loves us. You know, it all starts with his love for us. 
It all starts with His grace. It all starts, He initiates our relationship with Him, both through creation and then redemption. And St. Paul tells Timothy, remember Jesus Christ. Remember Him. And how is it that we're going to foster our love for God? We're going to remember Jesus Christ. We are going to remember the love of God for us. And that is going to inspire us to love God and to love our neighbor. Because God loves our neighbor. God loves our neighbor enough to send his son, Jesus Christ, to die for him. And if God loves our neighbor, guess what we're supposed to do? to love our neighbor. So if you're ever thinking to yourself, I got nothing to confess. Maybe we could all ask the Lord God that we would love him with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength and love our neighbor every bit as much as we love ourselves and to forgive us if we fail in that.